Hi everyone and welcome back to Crafts with Beth. Hope you had a wonderful week. Today we are making fire breathing dragons, just like this one here, as you can see. And this is, was really fun to make, so I hope you enjoy this as well. And one fun thing about this, that you can pretend to be a fire breathing dragon yourself, you blow through the cylinder, like it's your own fire. Or you can put some string on this end of it and then it will hang up um, nicely outside on your washing line or wherever you can find a good place for it and then it will go with the wind and it will look like the, the fire is being breathed out of the dragon's mouth as the wind blows. So that's something you can do um, today with this craft which is very fun. And when I think of dragon I think of very powerful creature and, and fire is very strong and powerful. And so that is really similar to God's spirit. He is very powerful, even stronger than death as Jesus was brought back to life when he died on the cross through God's spirit. So it must be pretty powerful. And when we believe in him and accept him in our hearts, his powerful spirit actually comes and lives within us, just like a little fire burning in our hearts, even though we can't see it. And so when we um, do that, um, we know that he's always with us and he'll help us through anything. And so we're going to read the verse for the day, which links to that, which is Romans 8, verse 11. And it says, the Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same Spirit living within you. So that's really encouraging, isn't it? That the same Spirit that's really powerful, that raised Jesus from the dead, when we know him, believe him and love him, comes and lives in our own hearts to be with us and to give us life for all of eternity. That's really, really encouraging. And so if you'd like to know God yourself and you really want that spirit, like that fire in your heart, I'm just going to say this quick prayer and you can say Amen if you agree with me at the end. Father God, we thank you that you are powerful God, just like a fiery dragon is powerful. Thank you that you are more powerful than death and that Jesus died for us on the cross. We pray that you will fill us with that spirit right now in our hearts, just like your fire living within us, like it says in this verse. Help us to know that you're with us no matter what. In Jesus name. Amen. Now let me just show you what to do for the craft. Here's all the materials that you'll need. Great so this is what we need today. So starting off we are going to definitely need this item, the innard of the toilet roll and what we're going to be doing is sticking the eyes on first. So you need a plain piece of white paper which you'll cut out small bits from and stick with the glue. And then we're going to be using a lot of red and uh, yellow paint today. You can use any colour for the dragon's face, so if you have a different colour in mind, that's completely okay. Um, and also a bowl and a paintbrush just to use um, while you're painting. You can also add a water jar as well if you like to clean your brush, which isn't in the shop, but you can get that from a cup or a mug or whatever you want to use. Then we will need some tissue to use for the flames and some sellotape, a piece of string and a black marker. So feel free to pause the video while you go get those things. Okay, so first thing we are going to be doing for stage one is the dragon face. So make sure you've got your toilet roll in it and your piece of paper because what you want to do is cut out these little flaps for the eyes which we're going to stick on before we start painting. So what you need is to get your scissors and then cut out shapes which look just like this as you can see. So it's about three centimetres long and it's got a little rounded edge at the top and a flat one at the bottom. What you're going to do once you've cut those two out is fold about halfway but it doesn't have to be exact like so for each of them and then you're going to stick the base on top of the toilet roll like so and you're going to do that with your glue stick so we're just going to glue very nicely like that and then at the back of it pointing upwards you'll stick it like so and then you do that with the other one okay so hopefully you've done that nicely with the two being at the back stuck down with the glue. We're going to come back to doing that later, finishing off the eyes, but what we want to do now is to get your paintbrush and your red paint, so I've put mine in my bowl, just in there with some cling film, just because it's a bit easier to clear up, feel free to do the same. 
and then we just paint away and we want to paint all of the toilet roll in it so it's completely covered on the outside as well as these little flaps which you can see here so you do it at the back and it can get a bit sticky and a bit messy so make sure you're wearing the appropriate aprons or whatever you have and covering the surfaces that you're using as well because you don't want to get paint everywhere do you? So you do that just like I've done this one I've covered all of it and you carry on for a bit until it's all finished and there we go that is my dragon face complete with red paint and that's stage one finished what we're going to do now is put this to a side to dry, make sure it's not going to um, make anything painty so it's in a safe place. And you're going to have to um, get some tissue paper or toilet paper um, for the next stage, which is the flames. So make sure you've got everything that you need, the tissue paper or the toilet paper and some scissors and your paints. That's what we're going to be using for the next stage. So what we've got here is the flames which are about to be painted. So what I've done is I've made strips of the toilet paper and I've used about three sheets of toilet paper and the long ones are cut um, just from the length of two sheets and the shorter ones are just one sheet and you can do as many or as little as you like for these um, and yeah just make sure you've got the bright paints that you want to use I'm using acrylic but it doesn't really matter which one to use but as long as you just don't put too much paint on it that's going to be the best thing because if you do too much paint it will disintegrate and it won't be strong enough so add a bit of water if you would like to and you can color them all in with the red orange and yellow paints and then you're going to leave them to dry so crack on with that and then you'll be ready to go for the next part and there we go so make sure you've done both sides of the strips it can be a bit fragile so if you need to do multiple ones um, as some of them aren't working that's completely okay as you can see I like it looking quite messy with all the different colors mixed and blended so feel free to do that or to be as neat as you like um, and make sure you're careful when you paint over the the edges as well because these are actually one sheet there two sheets so that's two sheets together so it can often break in the middle so be careful when you're painting over that and then leave it to dry for however long it needs Definitely will be over 15 minutes or you could hair dry it and then come back and we'll be ready to finish off this stage once it's all dry. Brilliant, so I'm hoping that your dragon face is all dry now as well as your wonderful flames. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stick this to the inside of this end of the dragon face just like so. So you stick it in there and get some tape, and then just press that down and then you do that all the way around and then you're good to go. So make sure you cut lots of little strips of so tape for you ready to stick on. Um, I tend to start with the longer ones first but it doesn't really matter just as long as all of um, the inner circle is covered with the different strips or the different flames. So let's get started. Once you've stuck all of them on the inside of the dragon mouth, you have just something similar to this. Maybe yours has been easier than mine, that's great. If not, then it's nice and messy as well, so it doesn't matter either way. <laughs> this one um, is almost done now, as we've done the flames, just like you can see on both of them. However, we have still got a bit more to do, as you can see, we've got the details to do. And so that's the next stage. We've got the eyes and the nose and the markings for the mouth and the side of the face as well. So that's the next stage which we're going to crack on with now. So what we're going to do first is the eyes. So you're going to want to cut out a little bit of um, A4, just white paper, using normal paper. A couple of circles that are just going to fit on there um, with a black dot on it. And then put that on with glue stick and then do the lines um, that you can see here. The nose nice at the front, 
some diagonal lines and dots and whatever decoration you'd like as well as black triangle for the opening of the mouth and then once you have done all those markings you'll be very very nearly finished so let's crack on with that stage finished with my dragon however if you do want to put it up in the garden or by your window and um, so that the wind can blow the flames very nicely then you just need a little bit of string just like this one to be stuck on the inside of the toilet roll holder so once you've done that then we'll be finished so get your string and let's stick this on the inside just now have it that is your fiery dragon finished so feel free to hang that up somewhere in the wind so it blows very nicely and may it remind you that god's spirit is powerful just like fire or like a powerful dragon and he lives within our hearts and so that's the end of the, today's craft and i hope you've really enjoyed it if you would like to do some more crafts next week then just stay tuned and have a look on this channel as there'll be more Thanks for watching.